Hi everybody, Mike Pfeiffer with Pfeiffer Hobby. Um, I'm going to do an update 54, I believe it is, on the ACT. And uh, what I've got for you is I have the engine facility track laid out and I'm going to explain what we're going to do there and you can see what it's going to look like, sort of. And uh, let's get on with it. Okay, this, this number six was existing from the old uh, yard configuration. We removed a couple out of here. I retained this one to get into the two sidings going uh, back to the, um, to the power plant. But as you can see, I've added a, I'm, I, as much as I hate to do it, uh, I'm going to have to use number fours in here. I'm going to have to make some modifications to some, and I will probably do a video on how to make them run reliably. But I have some number fours that came off of the club layout and off of this layout at one time. And they're just a bunch of used number fours and one number six. And all of them are actually no good. Uh, they've had stuff done to them. They're broken. They've got ballast in them or something has happened to them. But I was able to use them to lay out the uh, configuration of the yard here. So let me get into that. Okay, what we're going to have here is one number four here that's just going to divide it up into two tracks. We'll go down the engine house. We'll be right in here with doors on each end. This track, there's a number four left here that'll take to a siding next to the engine house. And there's this number four that goes next to the engine house. There's going to be a number six attached to that. There'll be engine storage back here or dead uh, locomotive storage. Um, this number four here is going to, well this is the number four that's going to take us, the other number four that's going to take us to the engine house, uh, these two tracks here. And then this is going to be our fueling and sanding track over here on this side. And there will be a siding down there that basically is going to go to the um, fuel facility. And that fuel tank will be painted and go in there um, to provide fuel for the fuel rack that's going to be here. Then you can see that I have a little single crossover made out of two number fours back there and then just some curve track going out to some bumpers that's going to allow me to have a run out room to get around the outside of the engine house. So pretty much if I, uh, I don't know if I can get all this in, if I back up here I can't really see but I think I have it all in there. You can kind of see how this is laid out. I don't know what other kind of buildings might go in here. What I can tell you too is I got a, I have a number, a new number six. This is a broken one. Uh, and these are all broken by someone's hands, by the way. Um, this is a number six that I'm going to put in here so that, that Gavin and I can put in a little small industry back in there. I don't know what it'll be, but it's just going to give us more operating uh, area. And I don't want to waste that space back there. So... Basically, uh, I keep using basically, I don't know why, but uh, this is the configuration of the, uh, of the engine facility. We don't know what other buildings are going to go in here, and you guys remember the, the furniture or the appliance building that's going to go in here. I'm still working on that one, but I think I'm going to try and get all this track laid down in here so I can start working on the engine facility building as well. But I guess that's pretty much it for today. Another short update. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just a little update on uh, how the trackage is going to be, what I'm going to do there. And uh, you can see how the track's laid out. And as always, we'll see you the next time.